Hi, I'm Robert. I'm from WarmUp. I've been with the company about a dozen years or so. Every time I get a phone call about the DS controller, it's always the same question. What do I do with all these colored wires? So I'm here to make a video for you on how to wire the DS controller. For those of you that read the manual, looked at the picture and weren't sure, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, a video's got to be worth a million. For those of you that have not read the manual, I do recommend you read the manual. But we're going to do a video on how to wire the DS controller. So let's go wire our snowmelt controller. Let's wire our DS controller from warm up to our snowmelt mat. This is wiring that is going to be done for a DS5 or a DS9. This particular controller will control two zones simultaneously, which is you can do two mats or two zones up to 30 amps and both will be turned off and on at the same time. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our lead wire from the circuit breaker. The gauge wire that you'll need will depend on the amperage and voltage that you're wiring as well as your local code. The controller itself does not have ground fault built in so be sure and check with your local code for ground fault protection within the circuit breaker itself or you can get a external circuit breaker, the or external G ground fault, I should say. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of our lead wires from the circuit breaker. We are going to attach that to the brown wire that comes out of our controller. One lead wire from one circuit and one yellow. Uh, the yellow wire is our dry contact coming out of the controller. The brown wire is our power source for the controller itself. So we're going to wire nut those together. So the first thing we do is we have those three wire nutted together. Then we're going to take our second lead wire coming from the circuit breaker. That is going to go directly to our first snow melt mat. So we're going to attach the snow melt mat and the second line wire coming from the circuit breaker. And we're going to attach that with our blue wire, which is the wire that completes the circuit to power the actual controller itself. So we're going to put those three together. So we got our blue lead wire from the mat and our second lead wire from the circuit breaker. So those three are going to go together. And then we're going to take our yellow coming out of the controller, which is our second dry contact wire. And that is going to go to the second wire from our warm up mat. So we're going to put those two together so we can complete our circuit for that first mat. So our first circuit breaker is going to the brown wire, lead wire from the circuit breaker, and one yellow. Our second lead wire is going with the blue wire from the controller and our first lead wire from the mat. And then the second yellow coming out of the controller is going to the second wire from our mat, the first mat that we've wired. That completes one of the mats wiring. Next, we're going to take our second circuit wire. We're gonna take one of those leads and that is going to go to one of these red wires. Doesn't matter which one of the reds you use, it is a dry contact, so you can do either one. So we're gonna wire nut a lead wire to one of the reds. Our second lead wire from the circuit breaker is going to go to our second mat, the first lead wire out of our second mat. Wire those together. And then we're going to take our second red wire out of the controller. That's going to go to the second lead wire from our snow melt mat. So we completed the, psych, the circuit there. So we're gonna wire nut those two together. For our second snow melt mat, we have one line coming from the circuit breaker going to a red wire. We have the second line from our circuit breaker going to the snow melt mat. And then we have the second red wire from the controller going to the second lead wire from our snow melt mat. Finally, we're going to take all our ground wires and we're gonna wire nut all our ground wires together. And that completes our wiring job.